Let's build a low poly uh, water tower. So I could go out and look for references, but I decided to try this, um, you know, Microsoft Bing um, AI thing. So I just put in like low poly water and then it gives me, you know, different images. So I want to create, I want to create one, a mix between this and this combined like, but just this, just a reference. Uh, it's great if you want to reference stuff. So I do have, as you can see, I do have some ships over here. So I am doing a ship video. Uh, but we'll build a boat in the next video. But for now, I'll just do this evening. I'll do a water towel. Just give me a bit of break from you know usual work. Anyway, so let's get started. We're going to try to look, combine these two together to make our own water towel. Let's go. Hey, okay. strike the blender. So I'll move this inside. Shift it over. Got empty scene in Blender. I'm gonna make sure I have my keys screencast turned on. Yeah. So you can see what I click up here in the top left now. And start with a plane. Oh. And then extrude this. So by using a solidify. Oh. And we're gonna add a bevel modifier on here. First bevels, um, something like three. It depends on what you want to do. I'm gonna just say shade, shade smooth for now. Okay, I'm gonna do, shift this up. Let's go to the X. Yeah. Something like that's fine. Okay, next I want to do is duplicate this. Shift V. And we're gonna make the legs using this. So I'm just gonna press S. Look at it from above. S, we can look at it from above. So that looks about the size of a leg. Now place it here in the corner. If I hit Control A and apply a transformation, you'll see the bevel updates because we rescaled it. And then just go Object Set Origin, the surface of mass. So it's back onto its position, which is perfect. And what I want to do is adjust that, you know, that roundness. You can play around with that. And then we can, of course, increase the thickness. Like so let's go into the side view here. Let's shift this down. Like this. And we can bring this up a little bit. There we go. So that's one leg. And now what we want to do is use a mirror. Let's say mirror. So we can mirror the legs. So we want it in each of the corners. And we want to mirror it on the, the X axis across and the Y. X and Y, and we're going to say our object mirror is going to be the plane. Boom. And we've got one in each corner, which is nice, right? I'm going to move this mirror above the solid, solidify, so it's like that. Nice and so, it's, you know, we can apply this in a second. But first, what we want to do is go to solidify. And we're going to apply this. Boom. Now we can edit this one leg here. So if we look at it from above, right, so looking down on it, and I toggle on X ray mode, like so. What I want to do is choose this bottom face, use the move tool, it's out. I feel like this so this corner here is touching this corner yeah it gives us you know a nice stool looking it looks like a stool right and it looks almost like a stool anyway now let's click on that that thing we want to apply this mirror now so i'm going to say apply next i want to do is add some slices yeah, yeah, no, I don't want to apply, sorry, my bad. I don't want to apply it. What I want to do is first do the slices, then apply the mirror. Okay, because if I applied the mirror, then I would have to slice each individual one and, you know, it's going to take me longer. So it's easier to do it before I mirror it. Anyway, so get the edge loop cut tool. Loop cut tool. And I'm going to put a lid, uh, one in the middle, 
I'll do just dun, dun, dun. that should be enough. If you think about it, we're gonna connect a this is gonna connect a no, bridge a connection between here and say here. So that should be alright. So I have four cuts on there. Hit tab, come out. Now if I play the mirror and then click on the um, edit mode, we're gonna choose faces. We're gonna say this face. This face, bridge face, boom. Let's see, uh, but this bridge, yeah, it's the same. And uh, bridge face, we can fix this up in a second. And again, from this face to this face, and yeah, see, bridge face, boom. And we're gonna repeat this, bridge face. Trace, trace, trace. One more time. Trace and bridge. Okay. Go. So let's tweak our bevel because I think the bevel some effect on the way this is looking. I kind of like the rounded look, so. If I say shade auto smooth, eh, shade smooth. Can I go into normals and auto smooth that? that that's a lot better. A little bit better anyway. Maybe I can adjust the bevel a bit. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we're going to take this top lane. We're going to duplicate this again, shift E, move this up, okay? Now what I want to do is use this to create a frame. Um, so, I'm going to hit tab, we're going to use inset face, bring this in, and if I delete this face, boom, now we have a little frame. Let's sit this in here. So, on my second monitor, I do have the image as a reference, so in the second here, so you can see here. I'm just gonna, so I can, as you can see, I still have it up, so just don't forget, like, use your reference. Anyway, so I want to change that fit, so I want it a little bit thinner, something like this. Down, right, so I'm going to duplicate this shift D, put this down to the base, scale this up. Okay. A little frame there as well. Then we've got another frame up here. I want to add some some um, feet. So I can just duplicate this this base, the original base that we started with. Shift D again, scale it from above. I scale it. Um, if I change the thickness, you can see here. Put this down. I'm going to look at it from the side. And we don't want it sitting off like so. Actually, what I'll do one, I'll do one, I want it a little bit up like this. Um, this, if I hit Control A, apply all the transformations, it's gonna go a bit weird. Object, set origin to surface of mass, and then I can change that thickness again. Oop. Just that bevel. We don't want it too rounded. Like I, said. I do like the rounded look, so I'm gonna stick with the rounded look. I don't mind it sticking over the top. And I'm gonna, what we're gonna do is, same way we stuck these in the corner, we can stick that in the corner, but this time, let's try, I don't know if it will work, let's add, um, just minimize these ones, let's add an array, and a mirror, let's see, I don't know if it will work, let me see, an array and a mirror, we're gonna do the X and the Y, and it'll be the plane, there we go. Now if I move the array 
count something like this. Oh, I can leave this at zero. That's not looking bad. And can I use an, another array after the mirror? And then, let's see. Array. Now, it wouldn't actually work and they just keep that. So that's alright. That, that did the array. I'm going to do just duplicate this again. Shift D. I'm going to say object. That's a mess. I will take this from above. That, that's gonna do. Oh, okay. I mean, if I go to item, I'm learning, we're learning together. But yeah, I'm learning. If I go to the item, just rotate that, I can change it the other way. There you go. So, what was the distance on this array? So, the distance was 3.3. .3, so, if I did minus 3.3. .3, will give me the same spacing. Yeah. Hey, we learned something new. We all learned together. Hey, I like the look of that. Now let's put the tank in there. So we've got a little frame, steady frame. Okay. So add the tank. We're gonna add a mesh cylinder. Oops. Undo that. Come out of edit mode before you add that new mesh. I was still in edit mode, so we applied it to the array. Uh, mesh, cylinder, now separate object. Uh, I'm going to shift this up. Uh, let's put this to 16. Oh, um, 18. Let's do 18. Move this up. Scale this down a little bit. Let's just inside. I'll scale it a little bit more. Something like that. Might need more space. So if I look at it from above, there's no space. So I'm going to scale this in a tiny bit more. So it's so smaller. And then we're going to extrude out anyway. So then it'll give space. Okay. And then you'll see in a second. Anyway, got the faces. We're in faces. I select all these faces. I'm going to go in X ray mode so I can see that I've selected all those faces. Uh, then what I want to do is extrude individual them or extrude outwards. So actually I want a quite big extrusion, there we go. So I'm going to turn X-ray off, you can see we're cutting in. So again, I'm going to scale this in. Now uh, this doesn't look very round, so again, I'm going to apply a bit of a modifier to this. Increase those segments. Just shade smooth and then change that about a bevel. So we keep it all like nice and round edges. We're going for this kind of look, which is nice. I like this look. We can bring this down or you can scale this up, tidy up to you. It's let's get it tiny weeny bit up there we go. Okay, let's start to look around. Let's add a ring on here. Because I can see they've got one ring. Um, some's got one, some's got two, some has a mesh. We've got this, so let's just add one at the top. So we can just easily do that by just using a... Let's just use a curve for this. We can use a circle thing. And just go to the... The... Um, the path properties of this change the geometry, and we're just going to add some depth. Boom. Boom. Much on that front, yeah. And then we can move this up or down, maybe up here, or maybe, yeah, mid a little bit there. Oh, uh, that's not too. Mm, I might duplicate this and have two. Um, I'm being a bit. Picky. Yeah, something like that. Maybe I'll have three. Maybe I'll keep this one center. Move this up. Move this lower down. Even though, depending on the camera angle that you're going to see it, where you're going to see it from, you won't see it as much, but you know it's there. You know. Anyway. Is, let's, 
Anyways. So what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna create this uh top now. So we're gonna mesh and we're gonna play cylinder, sorry, put this up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this slightly different so tab. Extrude along individual extrude the individual faces like so. Make sure the top and the bottom are not selected. Braces ought to be selected. Yeah, it's perfect. Let's just extrude the log. There we go. Now what we can do is select the bottom face. So if I scan this out. Boom. 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 Oh, actually easier if I just go to the side view here. Go to vertices. Go to x-ray mode. Just go right there and scale this out and scale this in. Okay, let's apply that modifier and say bevel. Yeah, that looks like this looks looks a little bit better. Um, this down. Select the top faces, let's go this here. It so the the top is really what's the and the narrower that gets, the the bevel gets faint. So I mean is what it is. Maybe I don't make it completely short. If I hit Control A apply transformation, does that have any effect on it? No. Maybe we can apply a subdivision to this. I don't know. Can we play it before? Hey, we can. Let's try that. Okay, let's scale this in. There we go. That's much better. It looks like trash right now. Or we'll hopefully fix that. Okay, we just need to add the edge loop here to get it. So we can keep, so click on that edge loop and then just drag this. Take this extra off. Yeah, it looks more softer now. So I should smooth that. I like that. I like that. It's a choice. It's just, uh, it's whatever you want. I'm gonna go back into edit mode. It's way too wide, but I go to the x ray mode, side view, and select these ones. It's in. Ah. So I'm going to add another edge loop here just to sharpen that. Yeah. Sharper this down here. That's that's looking much better. So that I was trying to get this rounded look. So apologies, but yeah, there we go. That, I like that. Uh, and then in here, if you don't want to see that, that this this mess over here, let's go into the faces, select that face. And we can just extrude that back up, and then extrude again. Down now, then set object set to origin surface. Let's go this in. That's looking cleaner. Not the best way of doing it, but yeah, it's just what I want it to look like. How I see it, uh, I want to move these bars a bit. Yeah, move this up. Oh. So uh, let's just add a little box here. They got like a little box underneath. Some boxes and stuff. Or uh, do we need it? I don't know. Let's add a base in a way. So we can add a base. So we can just take our original base that we started with the plane. Just like so. 
just could sit on here. But it's going to be our platform. Right. Showcasing our little model. And yeah, we can just start applying some material to that if we want. Now I'm a bit picky about this. This may. Might wanna. Let's see. I might wanna extrude it a tiny bit. Wanna extrude a little bit. And this one I wanna extrude. Actually it's easier. Do you know what I can do to make my life easier? Take that one, buy another modifier. I'm gonna say array um and on the Y. Oh sorry, not the Y, the Z. You can just check the Z here. Okay. Now all we have to do is just edit one and we you know we don't need to worry, so we can change that. That thickness. Cool. So I'm happy with that. So let's, like I said, let's start to light this and put some material on. There. there was a little box. They have a little on, the, on these images. They have like little boxes or trees and stuff. And uh, they just added the AI decided to to do something with that. And um, it's got a little, I like this, kind of like this, kind of cool. This is kind of cool, so, but I mean, that's a really tiny box or how is that supposed to be a house in the streets? But I don't know, there's yeah, little ladder there, or is that a fence? I don't know. Anyways, let's go back to the blender. Looks like it could turn into a space rocket too. Anyway, anyways, anyways, let's, let's get down, what is this, let's turn this uh, shading on, scene lighting world, I'll keep that on, I'm gonna choose something like this, and already looks, it looks nice, let's just um, add a mesh plane, scale this up, Slightly bigger, move this down. Tab, what I'm gonna do, you know, standard studio backdrop. You can choose to do like something like this. It's up to you. I'm gonna do like, here. You just, and then, then choose these three corners. And say bevel edge. So we beveled here. Increase that segment. Here we go. We can shade smooth. Now we can point a camera at this. So what I like to do is vertical split. Add a camera to my scene. This will be my camera viewport. So I'm gonna. I want everything to be clean. So no, no, no interface. So what I'll do is zero. Home. And um, you can see here, pressing home. N will hide this menu. That menu there. This menu here, I like to shift to select and just drag out. I'll minimize that. Um, I like to turn off all the gizmos, so just uncheck the gizmos. On the camera properties, let me turn on this one. I need to turn the screencast off so you can still see it. The uh, cast is on here. Yeah. Anyway, um, what I want to do is on the camera properties, I want to go viewport, passport out to zero, like so. So now if we move the camera, and there we go. Now if I press N on the left side, N, and go to view, I can lock the camera to view, camera to view, and then press N just to hide that. Now I can move the camera around in this window. So now. Yeah, nice composition of what I like. This is a bit messy. I feel this is a bit, you know, chunky. So I'm gonna change that thickness a little bit. And maybe bring that bevel down. Not too much, but, you know, I like the rounded look. That feels way too big. There we go. Okay, so right now let's add some 
let's play around with some of the EV settings, so ambient occlusion. I'm gonna do something like you could. Some people do like to do uh point like five point eight or one point two. Depends on what your settings. Or you can do something like extreme like twelve, and you can see how much of difference it makes. You know, some it depends on that your scene and what you prefer. I'm gonna do something like twelve. As you can see, it adds a lot, uh, a lot more in there. And I haven't done anything yet. You know, we haven't created any materials or anything or lighting. It's just just the uh, you know default uh, blender scene world. You know, you can see how much that affects and the ambient occlusion turned on. Um, yeah, yes, even that looks cool. Anyway, I like this one. Uh, actually, let's leave it on this one for now. We can light it anyway. Anyway, let's apply some materials. So, let's choose a backdrop. So, on our backdrop, I'm going to apply a new material. And you see, as I drop a material here, it changes over here. Uh, so, you can see what I'm doing here as well. Let me spin it there. You get the idea. So, we can change our backdrop to whatever color we want. Um, and it will look fantastic. So these ones, they all work for like a purpley blue. So let's do the purpley blue like this. And then these, let's do some the, the legs and stuff. So apply a new material, and it'd be like a brownish kind of tan color. So this one, and I'll just call this light wood. Okay, and. Now I'm going to apply this again throughout, so I'm going to say light wood, light wood as well, light wood, and then because we mirrored it, we only have to do it on the one, and it will do everything. It should quite cool. Okay, so now this this is all made out of wood, right? So this is going to be light wood, of course, and it's the top. Now, if you want a different, maybe you want a different color, you can. And then just a new, new material applied to this, these bars. And maybe this one is going to be metallic. And that roughness a little bit down. Yeah. Like this. And I want this actually a different one. So I'm going to new. Let's give it something slightly darker. Maybe I'll do this these these bars like uh, I don't know, so something just to break it up a tiny bit. I can break this down. I don't like that. I don't mind. It looks, it looks like chocolate or something. But anyway. Maybe brown is I mean the, the black is too heavy on this. Maybe this shouldn't be black, it should be like silverish. That may be more rough for this style, I don't know. Eh, it kind of looks alright. Um, and then I'll apply the same this material here. I should rename this, you know. I'll just call it chocolate. It looks like milk chocolate to me. Chocolate. You know. And then this this bar down here, I'll do this little. Now the ground, you know. Um, we can choose to do whatever color we like. Um, so we apply that. It can be green, blue. So they've gone for the blue, blue color. Um, color as well. Yeah. I like that. Now, like I said, you can play around with the Camera settings, so we can click on a camera. Yeah, maybe we want it as a graphic, get a scale out, I don't know. So, um, let's add a light. So, this light seems we have some kind of shadow here in it, something coming across. So, we can, we can try, let's just try first the normal light, sunlight, boom. Makes big difference. Let's just rotate this round. 
gonna change some of that shadow properties here, so I'm just gonna go to my shadows. I'm gonna, I don't want some shadows, I want hard shadow, I'm gonna just increase that solution. I'm gonna put a 40 there. Go something like this. Very, uh, I'll say. Why does it look very pixel? Hey, so the soft shadows do have an effect on it, but I don't know. Maybe not the sun. I don't want to use the sun. Instead, I'll use, I'll use the area light. I'm gonna say driven. Um, I want it to track to, and I want to say what object I want to track. I want to just say track the whole cylinder. So now, if I click on the area light and I use the move tool, I don't need to rotate this. It will just face always face towards the the you know the main. Um, Object or uh, 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 actor or uh, or uh, you know water tower. So we can change this and so if I do something like fifteen hundred, we uh, scale this up. Yeah, real nice. Now yeah, maybe fifteen hundred is too much. Like this and let's play around with the color. Let's add a little bit of. Purpley blue. Again, if you want, well, that's a pink. Anyway, duplicate this. Move this from behind. Front up to you. Go for a completely opposite color. For black blue, um, yeah, there you go. Hopefully, I was, I mean, I did overcomplicate some parts. Sid, can play around with all of this, um, play around with the colors and all sorts, but yeah, it's just Eevee and you know, the poly water tower, but yeah, there's not. Bad. Just something else, you know, a distraction from the usual work I've been doing recently. Um, and you can play around with this environment, that's, you know, you might get a completely different result. Turn it off completely and just light it yourself, you know. Or you can, you know, turn it on, but maybe you want to break the strip down. Okay, something like this. Um, and you can also go into do, 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 the world. Is it world or be up here? Where's the color? Film and color. Uh, film. Uh, not simple, but that's a plugin. Cool plugin. Color management. There we go. Let's say skill make. You can play around with the, you know, standard or the look. So you can say very low contrast. Uh, high contrast, boom, and it gives it does make very more saturated. It's a lot more saturated or high contrast, you know. So I'll play around with that, and then stroke. There we go. But yeah, enjoy your day. Thank you again. Bye.